Penny Hardaway agreeing to become Memphis's next head coach. Of course, he played there. He is from Memphis. Feels like this could be a wonderful fit, coaching high school basketball there in Memphis. He's got certainly an inside track at landing players from that area. And now Memphis has a new head coach officially. Will be really interesting to see who he adds to his staff. Already some rumors about some people who could be going that way. So we welcome in Jay Williams and Seth Greenberg. And Seth, we'll start with you. What are your thoughts on Penny Hardaway going to Memphis? Well, I'm disappointed the way Tubby Smith was yeah. treated on his way out. Tubby Smith is a Hall of Fame coach with great character and class. And, you know, they recruited him to come to Memphis. Having said that, Amphrey Hardaway, Penny's going to do a great job because he's going to be up to recruit Memphis. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is he's going to be up to recruit Memphis because the Memphis kids, even though he's a legend in the city, are not easy because they come with basically their families and their mm-hmm. expectation. And just because you have collect talent doesn't mean you're going to have a great team. I think he'll do a great job coaching. I think he'll probably end up hiring Larry Brown as an assistant coach who will help him with the day-to-day operations of the coaching and, and, and being the business of college basketball. But the job is harder than it looks from the outside, and that will be the question. Tony Barbie also considered in that conversation as far as being part of the staff with Larry Brown. I think the staff is everything. People that can navigate you on how to recruit and get things done. That's what it comes down to in college basketball. Can you recruit? And then once you recruit and you get those guys, almost similar to John Calipari, you know, you get the top tier guys, then you have to work on how to mold those guys together. But how do you buy the families into what you're trying to achieve? Don't you think, Jay, that the Memphis kids, I mean, that's an easy sell. I mean, he is Memphis basketball, don't you think? I mean, I do. And, and he's also, coaching great players right now. I also think, though, when Penny, when, when Penny walks into a room, and, and, this is what he, and this is why I talk about marketing all the time, what is your brand? How are kids going to remember you? Mm-hmm. And if, if kids can remember who Penny Hardaway is, when he walks into a room at 6'8", 6'9", he's going to capture your attention. And I, I've also spoken to him multiple times. He can sell the game. If you're able to achieve that stuff with national recruits, they're making a splash higher right now. I think it's the right move. I don't think he'll be a national recruit. I think he's going to recruit within the state. My gut feeling is, Amphrey Party, Penny Hardaway, outside of the state of Tennessee and outside of Memphis, he's not beating Kentucky. He's not beating Kansas. He's not beating Duke. In Memphis, he's beating them all. That's yeah. my gut feeling. What, do you agree with that? You, well, you don't have to beat Duke or Kentucky. You just got to get one or two guys that right. can go. And feels like he'll keep that border around the city of Memphis sure. pretty mm-hmm. high. Make sure he keeps all those he'll, guys He'll get in. that Simmons kid, though. True.